Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. This is actually an introduction to the next tutorial I'm doing. And I just want to tell you guys that I, uh, I do go a university course, or university program actually. Uh, three years for a candidate in game development and game programming. So that's why I'm doing a bunch of game stuff, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, and uh, what I want to do is I want to start off this 3D... 3d tutorial series and I, I just want to teach you the basic basics so you can get started and and maybe because I'm by no means an expert there are a bunch of better ones better suited to give you tutorials on YouTube so I just want to say that right off the bat and uh, I, I'm just here to give you the bare minimum like just show you what I know and what you can do from here right so what what actually happens in the graphics card and stuff like what is 3d programming because I had a bunch of I like really big difficulty understanding it, but all I came to understand later is 3d programming in a, just a few sentences is a bunch of points everywhere sent in to become a bunch of pixels okay that's that's basically it now it's not the best way to put it because these points don't actually get pixels become pixels but all these lines and stuff they're like perfect in the memory right there is no pixels in the memory but how do you turn a triangle like this into pixels on the screen right like it has to it's it's gonna be kinda blocky like this right whatever uh, and then you fill it in and how do you color all these pixels and how do you how do you so every game you see is a bunch of triangles or primitives as we call them so uh, and and they're Colored, right? They're colored. They're textured. They're they have light on them. They have they're they're affected by a bunch of things and you know intersected with and all kinds of stuff, right? And uh, and that's that's what we're gonna see. Like how how does that work? How do you send in a bunch of points? And how does the graphics card make a bunch of triangles out of these? And how do you actually put lighting on these? So this is basically how you build something. Polygons, right? Polygons, a bunch of primitives and uh, like squares and cubes like how do you make that turn that into into fragments so we're gonna start off by doing some vector math just easy vectors what is a vector why are vectors important how you can use them in games and stuff like that and then what is a matrix like how, how do you use that and what why do you need it and how does the camera work and all that stuff we'll, we'll go through that one by one but I just want to show start this tutorial off by showing you a picture I found on Google is just there is a a standardized pipeline so imagine a pipe literally a pipe with different stages in it I don't know if you guys know how a jet engine works but I don't know if it's a good analogy but it has different stages so you get an input of air and you get an output of something right input output that's the same thing it's, it's like any pipeline this is a input and output pipeline so as you know in any game it's as simple as it gets you have a bunch of points stored in an array with positions okay these points have X Y and Z positions that's it that's all It's a big array of vertex data it's called a vertex is a point to not make it too and it's not complicated a vertex sounds complicated but it's not a vertex is a point in space X Y and Z that's a vertex a triangle or a primitive is or a polygon or whatever is made out of triangles and a primitive is a triangle so a primitive is like the basic building block okay and there's a bunch of points in this array just a regular array a vertex and guess what a vertex well in a vertex you can save you can make a class vertex and then you can save position you can save a normal for it and stuff we'll talk about normal and everything later uh, but all you do is you send this in and out you get a image image sorry for my nice handwriting I don't know, lowercase e there as well but that's okay uh, so what happens is we send stuff in. all this sounds really complicated but it's not it's really I mean it is in turn but it's not hard to learn so remember in your memory your computer's memory not your graphics memory right you have a bunch of stuff you want to send that over to the graphics card because and you want to keep it there because there's a bunch it takes a long time for that process to happen so you don't want to keep doing it all the time but yeah, you send all your primitives in to the vertex processing, and the first thing that's called is the vertex shader. Now, shader sounds weird, right? Shader's like, oh, am I going to shade a bunch of stuff? But you can, 
but a shader basically what it's going to do is going to take in all the data you want it's going to do stuff with it and it's going to send it out so a vertex shader what does that do it takes in vertices several points your array of points whatever you want to send into it just it takes in points their positions and whatever else you want to do and it it does stuff with them you can do whatever you can move them you can you can transform them like rotate all and all that stuff like you can do a bunch of stuff right so you're gonna take them in and you're gonna push them out to the next stage you do stuff with them you push them out to the next stage. see how it's like an assembly line for all these points so after that it's gonna go into something called a geometry shader if you want to have that and it's gonna process these things a geometry shader instead of taking in one point at a time it, it is run for every triangle okay so and, and yeah these these are like mini programs and a graphics card has so many cores so it's running one of these programs for every little point okay and a graphics or a geometry shader is run for every triangle so then you can rotate the triangle you can do whatever you want with the triangle sends out stuff okay rasterization is where this per these perfect lines are kinda made into uh, pixels in pixel form okay that's what rasterization is it if you ever use like a Adobe Photoshop there is a button for the text thing called rasterize and that's what it does it it makes your perfect lines and vectors into a image that the screen can handle okay with pixels in it pixel positions and stuff so you do that and then you go into the pixel shader the fragment shader and here this program this mini program is run for every pixel within those primitives so remember you get an output of points here like if you send in one point you get output for that point that's again sent into the geometry shader and it goes through everything and that is again sent into this all that data and it can run for every pixel the same program so then you can make it like shaded and stuff like that you can do whatever you want in here basically and then it just goes out into frame buffers which is just prints it out on screen you know shows you the final image and stuff so so yeah there's a bunch of good pictures you can see here what the hell is going on more complicated and stuff I guess like I mean yeah all that stuff vertex processor rasterizer see how that works so that's basically the 3d pipeline right and and then you get a poop image here poop image okay just like that poop and you're good so and that way you can connect everything together send them into these pipeline in the pipeline and it's gonna come out on screen as a image alright and one more thing I just wanna start off with is you heard a lot about matrices and how you're gonna use them a lot and stuff basically matrices are from what I understand right now mostly used for like making sure these points are in the right system okay in the right coordinate system we're gonna talk about that you can send this into a world coordinate system and then you're gonna send it into your view coordinate system and stuff so everything is relative this is gonna be relative to locally your model then it's gonna go in low you know be relative to your world you can move it around in a 3d space and then it's gonna be relative to your view and stuff like that and I know this sounds like alien language right now but I'll show you really what that is exactly and and you'll understand but this is a just an intro video to all this stuff vectors and matrices like I said we're gonna talk about that first so yeah I hope you're excited and I hope you're doing good I hope you learned something and uh, yeah just don't be too afraid of 3d it's not that hard once you think about it it's really not that hard the, the annoying part is just writing the code for 3d sometimes you have to do all these weird things but uh, but yeah once you understand vector math you're good basically so um, uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about all that stuff. Take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye bye.